God bless. This is me, uh, Denature Thomas. I just did the um, post about the $20,000 stimulus check for every American. Uh, right now, we're just going to conversate a little about some things, and then y'all not going to see me again to May 1st. Uh, when we owe so much debt, and every time we do a stimulus check, we owe China, Hindu, we owe, we owe a lot of people money. When, when you're looking at these numbers, for number one, uh, nine trillion six hundred billion, you gotta understand. We don't know what that number is gonna be because every American 16 and older would already get a check. But the interest would come off the ones that are 15 to one day old. That's how the interest is gonna come. We do know that it's gonna be in the billions of dollars, but we're gonna just, we're gonna say a uh, for instant. And uh, how uh, these things look. So, say if we got, it, it's the $384 billion. We could take $84 billion, keep the $300 billion in the bank, and pay China some of their money, pay Hindu, whoever we owe, pay them some billions of dollars of their money each year until we get them paid off. The one thing we want to do is get out of our debt. Another thing. Uh, when I talk to you guys about jobs, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go. Let me go and uh, get my Don dish soap. I got, I got to go get my Don dish soap. Um, when we talk about businesses and everything, and, and the Lord's been telling us to bring all our business back to America, it's just like, the D obvious company. I should have got some D obvious sauce. Hold on. Let me go get a jar of D obvious sauce out my refrigerator. Oh God. Okay. For number one, when the obvious sauce comes, uh, and we cut, we go to market May first at Lowe's Market. Uh, this is gonna be all over. In the United States, they're going to have their company. New Mexico, they're going to have their company. Africa, they're going to have their company. So you got to understand, you know, Don Dish Soap, if you're not here, Nabisco, Lay's Potato Chips, it's best that you make your companies where there's, you have companies all over. We understand that people, they gripe because Americans have a lot of safety rules and everything, and, and they have a lot of taxes, but it's okay. If you got to raise up your cookies by 25 cent a bag, uh, a package, raise it up. But you got to understand all the jobs that you're going to be uh, uh, going to be making. In. And this is what God wants us to do. He wants everybody that wants a job to have a job. Not know any job, a good play a job. We know some jobs will always be minimum wage, but some jobs won't. It depends on the person how they work. So it's opportunity in America, but we got to bring all our jobs back to America. We got to start getting rid of the debt that we owe and the debt that we're digging for ourselves. I hear all about the stimulus checks, but I don't hear about how, how we pay the money back. So that's what God is talking about. Well, they show right now the checks, but they ain't saying nothing about how we paying it back. We do not want our children of the future to have to pay our debt back, pay the debt, to pay the debt back. Period. We don't want them to have to pay the debt back. Period. We want the debt to pay itself back. So that's why I say, okay, this number of the nine trillion six hundred billion dollars, that's for every American. But you gotta understand every American, uh, I say about a quarter of the Americans will get some of this money. So we break nine trillion six hundred billion into a quarter. Uh, half of it would be, uh, 45, let me see, 4.5, be 4.8, 4.8, half of it. So we're going to say about, mm, say 6 trillion will go into the bank. 6 trillion of this money will go into the bank. So you got to understand that 6 trillion is going to, 6 trillion dollars is going to be making interest every year. And whatever the interest is, is made out of it. Take a small amount of it, take like 20, 30 billion or 40 billion, start paying back to people in different, in the foreign lands like China, Hindu, wherever, wherever we owe, and make agreement, this is what we're going to pay you back every year. Bring our jobs back to the Americans, bring them back, our medications, our lace potato chips, if they're, if, I don't know if they're out there, but I know 
Oreos. I think y'all got some factories in Mexico. It's okay to have factories in Mexico, but let Mexico take care of Mexico cookies. Let United States take care of United States cookies. Uh, period. Let the dying dish soap of uh, the United States, you know, make their own dying dish soap. And the other ones put factories, put companies in other foreign lands. This way, you know, you create jobs everywhere in the United States. But far as the debt, we don't want the debt to be, you know, with our children. We don't want them to, well, we got all this money and now it's got to be paid back. And the American people's in a, a more worse or predicament than what they was because of this money. Because when people get money, they don't look at the after effects of the money. The Lord looks at everything. I ain't the Lord. I'm just his servant. And I'm a voice of, he tell me, I tell you. So the thing is, say if we got $6 trillion, and out that $6 trillion, say we're making, um, I say, uh, uh, $1.5, $1.9 billion a year. $100, uh, uh, $100 billion a year. Okay. That's the interest. That interest over 25 years, which should be enough to pay off a lot of the United States debt. Never mess with this money until this money has paid off all the debt. So our children won't have to pay the debt. You know, we're about making money, doing things the right way. We're not about doing the things the wrong way, but we're do about doing things in righteousness. Nobody want to pass on debts to their children. It's not about that. We're, oh, now we got to pay back the debt of this $20,000, this $9 trillion, and then it was $2 trillion. Hey, we, we're looking at about $11 trillion and plus whatever else is out there. But I believe that this is fair because God put it in my thoughts. He told me, hey, this is what needs to happen. You know, the money needs to be paid back. Instead, he constantly giving it without no resource of thinking of how it's going to be paid back. We understand, you know, people look at it, well, they could just make more. It's still going to put an offset in the economy. No matter how you look at it, it's going to be an offset somewhere later down in the future. You know, at $20,000, our kids are going to be mad at us. Why y'all let, why y'all keep that money? Because, you know, now we got to pay it back. We need to get rid of a lot of our debt, all of our debt, you know, and show Americans how to save money. That's what God is doing. He's like, here, you know what? I'm going to bless you with this. So I pray that, you know, Donald Trump and Congress and the people are listening to uh, what's going on. Because these are the things that needs to happen. You need, it should be about $6 trillion. It should be going into a bank, you know, about $6 trillion. And every year you get that interest to keep that $6 trillion in there and accept the, the, what you got to take from out of it. Matter of fact, out that $6 trillion, you can sit up there and take out those kids, check out that six trillion, let that six trillion constantly make 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 interest. You know, take their checks out that interest, and that way, what's ever left, you you keep a big chunk in in there, and then you take a big chunk and you pay off some of the debt to the other countries. Okay, Donald Trump. Okay, Congress. Okay, mayors and governors, my brothers and sisters, Christ. I know that sounds like a beautiful plan because it came from the Messiah. I love you guys. Uh, you want to hear from me again. I, as you see that uh, I'm very weak. God did have me eat something today. But I got a long haul. And I tell you guys everything. And he had me eat something today because I got a long haul. These next seven days are very crucial. Next time I put some food in my mouth would be uh, next Thursday. No, actually Friday at 12.01. 8 a.m. in the morning because I have business on the first. I love you guys. Y'all have a blessed day in the Lord. And I thank God for everything that he's doing for each and every last one of us.